This video is for uh, Donald and Candace and uh, the family. Um, Don, Candace, I wish I had many answers for you this morning. Uh, most of all, I, I wished I knew where your beloved summer was. If I knew, I would have been turned her over to you. You obviously cannot say the same about the rest of the YouTube community. Uh, I have strong convictions that lead me to believe that if some of these YouTubers knew where Candace was, they wouldn't turn her over. It makes for better news. It makes for better YouTube content that she stays missing. Because the longer she stays missing, the longer we get to tear apart all the peripheral and auxiliary parts of the family. I actually have seen now that they uh, they weren't planting flowers. Um, and actually that Candace and Grandma were cutting up Summer's body to put her where the flowers are now planted. Boy. Candace. Donald. You have to remember who you're playing with. Now, let me put it in terms so that not just you guys may understand, so that the rest of the world can understand, all right? Let's assume you step out of your house. This is for everybody. You step out of your house in the morning. What's the first thing you see? You see a rabid pack of pit bulls off the leash and they're running towards you and what remains of your family. Not only that, those same pack of wild pit bulls with bad home training have made it impossible to this point with over 840 leads to get a single piece of anything handled. Thank you for that. Now, this is for Donald, and this is for Candace. What you two need to understand is you cannot battle these people online. You will never whip the internet, Donald. You will never whip the internet, Candace. Even with a MIT degree, you will never whip the internet one time. Okay? So, if you want to continue to post whatever it is you want, you know what comes with that. So, this is what I implore you to do. If you're going to post to keep uh, uh, your, 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 your family's um, whatever intact, post. But don't go looking for what they say about you. Because that's already queued up in the comments. It's going to be the same comment for no matter what you post, sir, madam. Now, as far as all the biblical scripture and everything, I think that's a great thing. I think that it is a beautiful thing. But let me tell you what. Do not, to the Wells family, and moreover to the leader of that family, Donald, do not get caught in a spiritual war with people on YouTube that have no spirit. They have no soul. You cannot combat and you cannot, uh, uh, um, you know, build a platoon to try to infiltrate people that have no Jesus in their heart. You know how you beat the devil? Not with a sword, axe, or a gun. You beat the devil by looking the other way. You beat the devil by seeing him sit on your couch, but you don't even acknowledge him. Acknowledgement is key when it comes to the devil. He's not really there if you don't look him in the eye. 
He's never been there. Not unless you open your door and you let him in. Or you open your heart and you let him in. Jesus has, or uh, the devil has never been in your life. Jesus, you never had to ask or invite him in. Now, he does like to be acknowledged as, uh, 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 he likes to be acknowledged and in, 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 in invited in to your heart as your personal Lord and Savior. But let you know this now, even without having done said invitation, God's still there. <laughs> See, God will play a part in your life. God could convene and bring a child home. God could convene and do many, many beautiful things. But guess what? The devil and his tools, you have to pick those tools up for them to affect your life. Now, silently, all of us, Say a prayer for the wells and say a prayer for the vicious, malicious YouTubers. You have to see, it says in the Bible that you should want for your enemies the same thing you should want for yourself. So we can't want summer to come home and all the bountiful reapings of that harvest. We cannot want that without wanting that same thing. For Molly Go Lightly, for AB, for Tiffany Marie, for John Q. See, you can't combat these people with words. You have to fight these people in the name of God. It's the only thing that's going to beat them. You can't beat AB. He lives in Canada. And he's got a heart as is, is, is hard as stone. He's fucked up about what God did to him. What God did to him was, 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 was punish him for a past life. Right? And so now because he has an issue with his child, it is now Candace and it is now Donald's fault. That A.B. has an issue with his own child. That he feels malicious in spirit. Malicious in action. That he need to, to self-appoint all of his days. He submits all of his days. He has no power over what he's going to do any particular day. The devil has a hold and the devil is going to make sure he gets up every day and does the devil's bidding. Fuck you mean. 